another episode on my channel. Today I'm going to review a very economical folding planet from Jakar, who are a fairly cheap brand of um, art products. I bought this for £2.99, which is a bit cheaper than the recommended retail price of about £3.50 in the UK. Excuse the bloody awful filming. I honestly don't care. I just wanted to document this as fast as I could. And this seemed like an easy way to do it. So it's made by Jakar, or at least distributed by Jakar, and it has a thumb hole. I never understand why that's a selling point, but, you know, that's what they sell these things for. Two ninety nine, really simple little product. And it has, sure enough, got a thumb hole. You can see it there. It holds 12 paints, uh, so it's a watercolour palette, obviously. And it's got those stupid holes for brushes that, again, I never have really kind of worked out who uses them because you can just lie your brush on it. But there you are. It's got these wells down one side here and the thumb hole and the paint brush holes. And it folds in half and is secured relatively well. In terms of its size... It's four inches wide, roughly, and I think it's about ten inches long. Yeah, it's about ten inches in length there. So it's a reasonable size. You can carry it in one hand. I wanted this because it's small enough to sit on top of my studio palette just to hold some extra colours. I have no intention of carrying it around with me. I have no intention of using it on plein air. It is purely for studio use, as far as I'm concerned. So once we open it up, you can see it's got separated into five mixing regions here which is great and then you've got these stupid brush holes and the stupid thumb hole which i think most people would tape shut and use as an extra um mixing space you've then got 12 wells and i really like these wells they're actually better than some more expensive brands because whilst they're deeper at one end and get shallower they've still got a little weir at the shallow end so you don't get spillover and at the deep end, the far wall is slanted. It's not completely vertical, which means that it's harder for things to fall out. You've also got more room to make a wash. It's divided into three groups of four. So you could have, for example, red, yellows and blues, or you could have, um, you know, warm and cold neutrals and your blacks and whites and so on together. It has those stupid, stupid brush holes. I'm going to put a large brush in there just to um, demonstrate them terrible sorry about the quality of this video i have a temporary fluorescent light in my studio there you go i don't really see the point and there's the thumb hole and i'm just going to demonstrate using the thumb hole it makes no difference whatsoever there you go i could just hold it around the edge i really don't need to stick my thumb through the hole totally pointless um uh, yeah i've got a temporary light at the moment because my usual desk lamp is gone and it's a fluorescent light so Unfortunately, I've got this kind of strobing effect. So I'm going to put some paint into it, and I like to write on the lid exactly what I'm putting in, what number. These are all Windsor & Newton Professional. And Aurora Yellow you'll see in episode four, which I'm just uploading at the moment. I've done these two videos backwards. And I write the pigment, and I write the light fastness of the series. And once I get into it, which is actually not really very hard, you can see there's enough space here to label the wells just along so that you don't have to write in the mixing area you can actually write on those little verticals which is really good keeps it tidy and there it is with paint in them that is actually not even a third of a tube is enough to give you a decent sized area of color i don't like to put too much into a palette at once because i worry about contamination i've got aurora yellow there which i'm about to mix with a cocktail stick because it's separated a little bit You'll learn about that in my later video. Thank you very much. Sorry about the awful quality. 